Okay. So now I think it should it should uh, we should be able to achieve this one uh, instead of running the multiple flows like earlier. It should run the same. It should trigger the same flow. If I remember, uh, like whatever the this URL we have got it, we need to put in the environment variable. Okay. Now let's go back. Is it turned on or not? Batch printing. Okay, this is turned on. Okay. So now coming here. Yes. Let's go to the cases. Select two case. Let's run batch printing. batch printing not this one but the final batch printing it's a trigger this one final batch print okay first of all no response message somebody not receive any upstream request okay so we are getting some error two times so if you come here not see uh, if you see the batch print which was our earlier one it is not getting triggered because we have changed the uh, that uh, URL in the, into the that uh, environment variable. So you can just go back. We need to focus on final batch print. So both have failed. Why it have failed? The input parameter of workflow operation get contact information of is not valid. Oh, the same same thing. So here in both of them, it should have the contact field value. If it is not there. It is going to fail. So this one is having contact. If we come here, having contact. Okay. Okay. So both are having contact, but what it is saying is it is trying to get in the populate. No, this one get contact information. Contacts it is getting. That is fine. Get in. Okay. Contact and contact both are having this only. Okay, as of now, let's let's try to remove no like this one. What look at contact info is open here is not valid. Okay, so let's edit it and check where is the issue. Final batch print, go to edit. Getting case information finally, incident provided it is perfect. If you see the raw imports, what is it saying? Get item, this is fine. And in the this one, contacts record ID is null. This record ID is null. It means if we come here, apply to each. Okay, I think I got it. Earlier also we had the similar issue where we uh, it was not getting the value because it is not actually the contact ID. It should be the primary contact ID. Okay, so if we come here and if we see primary contact ID, we get case information. Yeah, see now it is primary contact ID. So now if I save it and uh, once it is saved, let's trigger this flow again and see if it is running or not. I'm sure even if it pass this one, it, uh, it may throw error at another stage. That's what we need to work on. now it is taking longer time because earlier i had selected five right so uh, right now if you see here it is working on total five right now one two three four five it is checking on each of them that's why it is taking longer time in case if any one of them is not having the value contact assigned to this or whatever the value we have mapped uh, in this stage, what is this? In the above stage here, uh, mapping, populate, then it is going to fail. Well, it is taking longer time, so let me just 
come back here give a refresh and try to execute on the first two uh, just to check if it is working or not so i'm just going to select this two and click on batch print let's see if it is getting printed or not and how many flows are getting triggered so okay this one also ran great so here i think we should be able to download both the documents and only one uh, flow should have run generating document okay let me see here go back how many flows are being triggered right now also two flows are getting triggered that's not what we expected maybe now we need to see the javascript code maybe we need to do some changes okay so right now here apply to each is taking longer time but is it executing or not that we need to see i think it is going to execute because earlier flow also it got executed successfully yeah it's working two files got downloaded but the issue remains same that it is triggering two flows like the same flow two or twice see here this one which is not good now let's see the javascript code whatever it is there batch print this one right generate selected items so let me just go through it once okay i got it uh so what the problem is here uh, still we are passing uh, the id separately not in in the form of array okay we need to uh, what do you call we need to create an array of all the guids using map and we need to initialize it okay also for downloading files here <clears throat> if you see we have download file right so it is just downloading a single file it is not able to download the multiple files at the same time okay so now we need to modify this so that we can uh, download multi files use uh, multi file using the same function but uh, here we need to create one another function download files okay i'm going to show you how we are going to do another thing is yeah uh, that's pretty much. so i have already created a code uh, by pausing this video and i think it should work so let me just copy and paste it here now what control a control v so uh, in case if you want this code in order to print that multiple documents by uh, running the same flow and multiple documents then you can just go through go to my blog this one and you can get it blog uh pod and mixmogspot.com i'll put this link into the video as well okay so the uh, what we have realized is uh, for printing the same document we used <clears throat> oh sorry for this one here for single for printing the single document we used another javascript now for selecting multiple multiple cases like one two and then when we click on this one multiple documents were getting downloaded but multiple flows were also getting triggered for that was a different flow now in order to trigger the same flow we modified the flow we tried our best but still we have listed rows we have uh, initialized this bulk array apply to each this is fine but i think now we need to modify this array as well this sorry modify this javascript so here i have modified this now I'll, i'm just going to show you where i have modified okay so right now if you see here constant guid okay this is nothing but it is expecting a uh, array of guid at least one or two or three guids okay i have added the comment as well now here this is a bulk response array this is nothing but uh, here if you see we have this bulk response error right <clears throat> so this one i am using it inside this code in case if you are uh, that name is different you just adjust this variable according to your flow name whatever it is okay 
now the another one is download files we should be having download files somewhere handle error call http this is fine http download files so earlier we were having only function called download file okay now i have added this download files okay which which is do, what it is doing it's processing bulk array okay it's processing bulk array download files this one and this download file we are we are calling this here okay this function i have changed it and uh, remaining things is almost same only Mm -hmm. So just save it. Control S. Okay, Control S. Now come to you know, this one. Here we have go to your Power Apps. Go to your Episodes, and I'm going to edit this JavaScript. Now file download batch print. Okay, choose file batch print open save and publish it so now once it is published i hope it will not call the multiple flows it should call the same flow only so let's give this again batch print Come here, refresh it. Please, again, two flows are running. Wait, maybe it is not yet published. So I'm just going to refresh it. JavaScript, whenever we publish it, it may take a minute or two to get into an effect. So just refresh it. No need to do this one. Selecting this two batch print coming here. Two was already running, still two is running. It means again something is wrong in the code. Okay, let me see. Well, uh, it seems that there was a delay in the while publishing the JavaScript. Now I checked it, it is running the same flow, only one flow instead of multiple flows. But the flow is having some issue. The server did not receive a response from upstream server. Okay, let's see what is it. It has failed. This flow is complex, I think. Apply to each folder name we have the folder name does not exist folder name input this this is inputs a parameter okay so let's come here <clears throat> go to the folder name yep okay. this one is wrong get case information what we have get case information this is fine but instead of body title do we have body title yes we have replace case ids okay so instead of case id i think it is going to be case ids let me just check it instead of case id let me just take this one Eat. Concatenation of dynamic content, which is case, right? Get contact information, not this one. This would be case, and it should be if it is body, this is fine. And here, body to upper trigger case ID. Maybe instead of this, what was earlier? Okay, earlier was for the batch print. If we go and edit this. I'm just comparing to see if I've done anything wrong. Concatenation. Get case information body title. Replace trigger body with the case ID. 
it looks fine for me, but not sure. These IDs, okay, not this one. Just copy this, control C, pasting it here. Instead of this one, first of all, let's replace this one. Replace with check IDs and here let's update it. Save it and this one duplicate the site. I'm just going to resubmit the previous flow. Resubmit it. If it is again going to see uh, developing, uh, the flow is okay, but we should know where uh, how to debug it, where the where we are getting the issue and how to fix it. That is the main issue. So here now folder name again. It is going to it is throwing the issue. So replace this one. Replace it with contact here we case. If I give a case, mm -hmm. so what is it again? You get case information, case information what is incident. Okay, instead of incident ID, we were giving the case ID. Okay, let's see if this works or not. Update it. Coming here. Resubmit it. Again, it is throwing the same error. Oh, actually, I forgot to save this record and test it. So let me just save it. Once it is saved, then we need to resubmit it. Resubmit it. Mostly it should work actually now because we uh, earlier the issue was not with this body title, it was working fine only. We were giving case ID here instead of, instead of incident ID. Actually, the case is just a form name, but the, the logical name is incident and we are passing the incident ID. So here, uh, just taking longer time, I, I think if it is, if it had any error, it might have stopped here itself, but it is taking longer time. So let's see what it is going to do, whether it is going to successful or not. Meanwhile, I'm just going to close this one, this one, and going to check if it works or not. Just click on the batch print. And let's see if the file gets downloaded or not. So right now we are having two flows running at the same time. I think one is this one, current flow, and one is this, the one which I triggered. This is the previous one. So just pausing it. Both are still running. Yep, it is taking time. So maybe we need to work on how to make it more efficient and it's taking longer time. So earlier what we did was we uh, gave the response somewhere outside only here, okay, in the parallel branch. So it was giving response faster and we were able to download the documents. But right now uh, we cannot give this response inside this for, for each because it's a loop, right? That's why it is taking longer time, it's still running. Okay, one got succeeded. So second also will get succeeded. The first, this one was, we were testing it on the previous one. We were just resubmitting it. This is the one. 
which we selected and it's running so yeah this one got downloaded i think but it didn't show any document it is running successfully okay application.pdf whether it got downloaded or not not this one let me case report this one so the folder the time is 10 39 not this one okay so let me just rerun it by selecting three and see if it is downloading the doc document or not. If it is not downloading the document, then again, we need to see where it is having the issue, whether in the JavaScript or here in this flow. Let's check how many flows are running. Go back. Okay, right now it is triggering only one flow. That is good. We have achieved what, what we were doing from there. But it is still generating the documents. Now the main point is it should be able we should be able to download the document. If we see this history, I think it is generating the document. Yes, it is generating, it is giving the name as well creating file to okay everything is working but the final part whether it is the file will get downloaded here or not that is the point okay so the thing is it is not getting downloaded coming back it got successfully run Okay, now I have got <clears throat> a lot of research. Uh, actually, I had paused the video and I was checking where I'm doing mistake. So basically, I checked it is triggering the flow. This button is triggering the flow. Okay, as expected, it is checking the all the list rows. It is initializing this array, applying to each. I checked it is creating the file in appropriate location, converting everything. It is doing perfectly. The one mistake which we ha I have done is earlier in the response it was application slash pdf it was for just to one just one selected item but right now we are not passing one item we are passing array which is json okay so instead of application slash pdf it should be json i think the same thing we have also given in the in our this one as well okay somewhere it should be men mentioned download files this is array right so response item blog file okay right now uh, you just check it i'll just post this code okay so the main thing is instead of putting as a pdf file it need to be application slash json to download all the selected items okay so just save it this small mistake it caused me half an hour loss so make sure you write everything properly. If it's selected items, PDF, docx, whatever, it should be in the proper format. So sometimes what happens whenever you forget to uh, forget to put this extension .pdf or whatever, it is the, <clears throat> the flow is going to fail, or even if it passes, it is going to give you the document, but it is of it the PDF will not open because the extension is missing or you have given the wrong extension. So make sure you are giving the docx pdf and the body you are attaching the proper body okay now i'm going to just batch print it now let's go back and see uh same flow will run for sure only one flow is running and here the document should get downloaded just hold on all right now it is taking longer time yeah I need to work on the efficiency but let's see first if it is working or not that is the main issue <clears throat> let's see here as well the flow history towards here right 
think the video is very long because of debugging part we face in so many places we face the issue yeah that that is the part please download the document flow okay it's still running and running okay so now whether file didn't get download again let's see what is the issue Fuck. got succeeded the response application or json yeah okay finally one more issue there are a lot of things we need to consider it actually so here final batch printing create file to see we have given the json but in the body also we need to give uh that bulk array whatever we had initialized earlier here in the above right this initialized bulk response array we need to give in the body so once you give in the body then only it is going to take all the body like uh this uh, created documents body and going to download the document saving it this time it has to run it has to run this time so coming here clicking the batch print I'm just waiting for the document once this pop-up goes it should we should be able to download the document let's hope okay finally one two and three yeah great so all this selected files are okay how many times it is getting downloaded okay i'm not interested uh, maybe multiple times it is running this uh, selected okay so if we come here now uh whenever you select multiple files and if you click on the batch print it is going to trigger the same flow not the multiple flow okay here whatever how many files or whatever files you have selected it's going to run but it is taking longer time uh in the next video i'll show you how we can make it more efficient so just to summarize it what we have done in earlier video we on the click of this particular case file we were downloading the do documents here each flow and here it was application uh slash pdf body we were attaching this converted video this one but later on we uh, we were uh, in this video we have worked on whenever we select multiple documents then it should trigger the flow and the same flow should it should not be triggered multiple times it should be in the same flow but uh all the doc we should get all the selected uh case id guids okay so same thing we have done here if we go to the edit you can see we have in this initialized one for loop okay and we are also passing uh the array not just one uh string and uh, here apply to each for each selected items we are getting the guid and we are applying on uh, on all of them the same operations we are passing the response here and it is bulk response yeah so that's all about this video if you uh yeah i know this video became a little longer because of the debugging part in uh in a lot of in many uh what do you call it many steps uh we had to come and modify we had to check it that's fine so in case if you are facing any issue try to debug yourself in case if you are not able to debug or uh, resolve it try to put in the comment i'll get it back to you thank you so much